okay welcome back to the course in this lesson we'll be talking about prescriptive analytics and its application as optimization prescriptive analytics it not only focuses or have understanding about what has happened which was descriptive analytics and what is likely to happen which was predictive analytics but it also provides recommendations on what action should be taken to optimize <coughs> to optimize outcomes and achieve specific goals it utilizes various mathematical and computational technique including optimization simulation decision analysis to generate an actionable insight the prescriptive analytics is a limb of analytics where we get to know what what should be the recommendations what should be the op, what would be the optimum point or to balance out different factors and come up with a final solution right as a supply chain analyst you need to have into consideration different kpis like when you are planning for something you need to consider okay my lead time for customer shouldn't happen at the same time i shouldn't be paying uh, enough i shouldn't be spending so much while delivering that product to the customer and at the same time i shouldn't have so much pressure on my inventory that my inventory cost is increasing but at the same time i should also uh, take into consideration that my production site is also utilized as much as possible right so we have at times different factors to consider and we are not sure that at which point we can make the maximum benefit to the company or the maximum output uh, outward that is more aligned to the um, mission or vision of the supply chain or the uh, strategy or the environment that your specific supply chain is trying to follow so pre prescriptive analytics will help us to take that those decision by making those recommendations so when you have when you have a supply chain when you have a model built suppose you have a model built with you which is like we have a model of eoq right eoq model we have discussed economic order quantity so here is the quantity that you are planning to buy from a supplier and here is the cost right so we discussed two types of cost with us the more the more you buy from your uh, supplier the quantity higher is the ordering quantity the cost reduced but at the same time we discuss what the inventory cost is going to increase by with the with this factor so inventory cost is increasing but ordering cost is reducing right and our final model of uq which is looks something like this which looks something like this and we want to reduce the total cost so this is the total cost which is nothing but inventory holding cost plus ordering cost and in some cases when production is happening in house then this can be the production cost as well so both of these has to be optimized so this optimum point this optimum point how you can reach you can reach with the help of prescriptive analytics hmm? so this is one of the application then there is another application which often seen in the transportation hmm? suppose you are a manufacturing site or you have a distribution center here you have a distribution center here and you have to deliver your product at three customers so you have customer one here you have a customer two here and customer three here right and you may also have a customer four here so suppose you want to deliver the product at all the sites so now you you may have different options with you you may take a truck which goes here then it goes here and it goes here it goes here and it comes back this is option one a, a big truck which is going at all the locations and coming back 
but there can be option two as well you can instead have two trucks small ones so two one of them going here and covering these truck one going here and covering these and there can be truck two going here and covering these right so there can be multiple options or even the truck one if he takes first c4 then c1 then c3 then c2 so what should be the route what should be the route that the transportation or the delivery boy needs to follow so that he gets the minimum cost the cost is the cost is reduced the time is saved right and there is also on time delivery on time on time delivery hmm? on time delivery also happening because all these four customers sometimes may have different um, different expectation in terms of um, getting delivered so the customer which is at the far end he may say oh i need the need the product at my end in the morning and the nearest one sometimes wants the late or the, he is open for any time delivery so while considering all these factors what should be the exact route hmm? route that should be uh, followed so route optimization is also an uh, application of prescriptive analytics and here we saw an application which was cost optimization so mostly all the e-commerce companies or the supply chain companies which have which delivers which is based upon delivery to their customer use such uh, use such tools uh, such app prescriptive analytics tools techniques to come up with the solution now not just this there are two types of optimization one is constrained and unconstrained optimization we'll discuss that in the upcoming lesson